Hello guys, this is Vinny Burgess from SaaS Securities and I welcome you to the third part of Ethical Hacking and Cyber Security video series. In the last tutorial, we discussed about our first hacker phase which was information gathering. We also gone through different tools from which information gathering was being done. So before moving to our actual hacking scenario or the next phase which is reconnaissance, we will find out how to create a lab setup where we can practice all our hacking skills. For that, we are going to create a penetration testing lab. So the main requirements for a penetration testing lab is a virtualization software. There are many vendors out there. There are VMware, Oracle VirtualBox. You can also use the Microsoft's Hyper-V. But I personally prefer VMware because of its stability. The next thing would be the Kali Linux or Backtrack distribution. I personally prefer Kali Linux because it is the latest version over the Backtrack. So the next two things are Metasploitable 2 and DIs. So these both are the operating systems which are made intentionally vulnerable. So these are the two operating systems which we are going to practice all our hacking skills. And the Kali Linux machine would be the attacker one. Through Kali Linux we will be launching series of attacks over Metasploitable 2 and DIs. You can find the download link below the description. As you know, this video is all about creating and configuring penetration testing lab. So I have already installed my VMware workstation instance. As you can see, it's version 9. Right now, version 10 is available, but I recommend 9 because it's smooth and fast. So before creating virtual machines, I will make you go through the available links where you can download our source. This is the official website of Kali Linux and you can download the ISO from here and this is the metasploitable source code link where you can download it and this is the DIs website where you can download the DIs Linux instance. So let's start adding up our operating systems. So first I will get with DIs. So here it's asking for an installer this image is an ISO extension and I will just browse up and it's situated in my local disk H so here it is I will just click next here is asking for what kind of operating system type it is so it's a Linux operating system and we are going to use the default other Linux 2.6 X kernel version so we will hit next so let it remain the same here. Just hit next and we will finish it here. So as you can see our DIs is up and running. I will just try to rename it as DIs so I can hit. So the next thing here we would be adding is Kali Linux. So for this tutorial, I don't have a ISO for Kali Linux, I have a operating system virtual machine here. So I'm not going to add, I'm not going to use the create new virtual machine, I'm going to select the open virtual machine option. But if you have an ISO, you can just go to this option, you can go to next and you can give the ISO extension path here but already you know I have a VM machine pre-configured so I'm, I'm just gonna use that so here is the virtual machine file I'm gonna use so as you can see the DIs and Kali Linux is running so the next thing I'm gonna add is the Metasploitable the same thing it's also a VM pre-configured and when you download the Metasploitable it, it is actually a VM so you don't have to add a new one or create a new one you can directly run up the Metasploitable so as you can see our three virtual machines are running so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some small advices here before running it up. So as you can see, I have allotted 
sum of the RAM here. DIs is a pretty much small operating system which doesn't run on GUI, so I'm not gonna give that much of RAM to it so 256 MB of memory is enough for it to run smoothly but coming to Kali Linux part I will uh, just dedicate 1 gig of RAM for it because it's it's a huge OS so 1 gig of RAM would not lag it and for the metasploitable 512 is way enough for it to run smoothly so as you can see the RAMs are allotted and the next part which is considered important is the network adapter all the three VMware virtual machines should be selected to NAT so as you can see the DIS is configured to NAT it's because we are using this network adapter is because we need these three virtual machines to be in one network connecting to each other so as you can see, it's all configured to NAT. And furthermore, we can see the NAT it has an IP address which is using 174 the subnet. 255, 255, 255. I'm gonna set to OK. As our three virtual machines are up I'm gonna select the Kali Linux and I'm gonna power it up I'll also power this up too so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna check the connectivity between these two VMware's so it's loading up It will take pretty much one or two minutes to load up. By that time we will run the DI's machine. And I'll show you one thing here. When you go to task manager, as you can see it's taking pretty much CPU usage space. And as you can see, 2.24 gigs of RAM is being used right now because just because of my VMware instance. It is running three operating systems at one. So as you can see my metasploitable is showing a login screen here. The color Linux is also up. Just waiting for the boot up nicely. And the DI's login screen is here. So let's get into metasploitable. I will use msfadmin as login, and the password is the same msfadmin. So we are in. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna try to ping the metasploitable machine and see the connectivity between these two machines are okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find out what kind of IP address I'm being allotted. For that I'm going to use if config command. As you can see we have an IP address 192.168.174.128. So getting back to metasploitable we will see if config and we have 192.168.174.129 so the Kali VM is 128 and the metasploitable VM is 129 so we'll ping back to see the connectivity between these two machines 74.128 which is the Kali Linux operating systems IP address so as you can see we are getting probe request from call the next machine you're gonna hit ping command you're gonna ping the metasploitable machine here 129 
so we are also getting a reply from 129 also so the connection between these two operating systems are good and running and I hope so DIs won't disappoint us but in this tutorial I'm not gonna log into the DIs because in the next tutorial in the coming tutorial we will be using DIs to hack into this Linux machine using Kali Linux I'm not gonna tell you the login or the password right now because in the next tutorial this would be our task to break into this DI system so as you can see the three operating systems are running so this tutorial was all about how to configure VMware or virtual machines and using these three operating systems setting up our lab for penetration testing and hacking so that was all for this tutorial. This is me, Vinit Burgi, signing off. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos on this series. You can also connect us with Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. And please, please, please give us your valuable comments so that we can know our, our weaknesses, where we can upgrade or update ourselves to present you quality learning stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much.